Let's do an investing session now. What to do with your 401k if you are laid off? Joining us for that is Jim Uren, the financial advisor at Phase 3 Advisory Services. What's the best option with that 401k, Jim, if somebody is laid off? Well, it's hard to know for sure what the best option is depending on your situation. But generally, as long as you can either keep it where it is or roll it over to an IRA, if at all possible, you can avoid spending the money. That's really your best option in the long run. What's the advantage of leaving a 401k with your former employer? Yeah, so there's pros and cons with each option. So one of the uh, pros, one of the advantages of leaving it where it is, can be that often your investment options in your 401k at your employer tend to be very inexpensive. And so it's often one of the cheapest ways that you can go about uh, investing. And of course, it doesn't require you to do anything uh, at a time where you maybe you're looking for a job, et cetera. However, on the flip side, um, the investment options can often be quite limited at the former employer. And you don't tend to get really much in terms of help in, in deciding what to invest in. You don't have a professional helping you and you probably don't have anyone really at the company helping you. So there's some pros and cons of leaving it where it is. That's good to know because I would have thought I'm moving on and so is my money. By the way, what is the rule of 55? So the rule of 55 is another reason that you may want to leave your 401k at your current employer. If you are turning age 55 in the year that you leave that employer or are older, you're actually allowed to pull money out of your 401k without paying the normal 10% penalty you would pay if you're under 59 and a half. So it can be a great way if you're going to need funds in that interim between jobs to get some money out of that 401k. As you mentioned, if you have that 401k, it is not a good idea to cash it out. What are some of the reasons? Yeah, ideally, it's best to leave it uh, where it is or roll it over to an IRA, because if you cash the money out, you're potentially missing out on market returns. But worse than that, you're really jeopardizing your long term retirement plans if you spend a lot of that money. Uh, because it can take you a long time to replace that at your new job. What are some ways to increase the 401k once you have left an employer? Yeah, so once you have that money, if you're going to not be able to, uh, if you're going to be able to avoid taking it out, uh, you can certainly roll that over into an IRA. One advantage of the IRA is that you have virtually unlimited ways in which you can invest it. You're not limited to maybe a handful of funds that your employer is picking for you. And on top of that, you can often get professional advice. If you want to work with a professional advisor or money manager, uh, you can work with him or her to help you pick the investments that are going to help you uh, get that money and grow it where you need it to be in order for you to be well prepared for your retirement years. Any other tips, Jim? Uh, no, other than uh, you know, look very carefully at your cost, whatever you're going to do. Uh, costs make a big difference in investing. And when possible, if you need professional advice, it can be well worth the effort. Great tips. Thank you, as always. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure, Angie. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.